Hello and a very warm welcome to this virtual open day. Despite the unusual circumstances this year, we hope what follows gives you a flavour of life at Chigwell School. We're committed to being a medium-sized school that aims to know all the pupils really well in order to support them and to provide them with many opportunities, all on our beautiful site of 100 acres. We take two classes of pupils at four plus into our pre-prep and then, assuming there's sufficient demand as there has been for the last few years, we then take an extra class into year three at seven plus. At 11 plus, we take in two more classes of 20 to 22 children each from year seven upwards. Now my first impression when I first visited the school just before I came, became head 13 years ago was the friendliness and warm atmosphere of Chigwell. Our goal is to nurture the young people in our care so they'll thrive at school and then go out into the world and make a real contribution with confidence. We aim for excellence in all areas, academics certainly, but also the arts, such as the stunning concert we had at Cadogan Hall in January. In sport, an outdoor pursuit such as the Scouts and the Duke of Edinburgh that becomes more popular year on year. We find that those pupils who take full part in the extracurricular activities on offer perform the best academically. These experiences help to develop them into the interesting, confident, multi-talented young people that we think the world of the 21st century requires. This year at GCSE pupils achieve 30% grade nines which is five times the national average and at A level 35% gained at least three A grades. What matters though isn't what the others achieve it's what each and every boy and girl achieves themselves even in those areas that they find most challenging and we work closely with parents to ensure that happens. We've been delighted that so many old Chigwellians are willing to come back to support current pupils with careers and university advice through our Meet the Future talks and through the Williams Project series of lectures. We offer a wide variety of trips and support many charities including the annual visit to our partner school in India. Along with our children we aim to develop the school in order to offer the very best learning experience. So over the past few years we've expanded the science department to in meet increased demand, refurbished boarding accommodation, added the Risham Sereo Sick Form Centre and most recently the dining hall has been extended. Even as I speak an artificial sports pitch is being built. However, governors are mindful of the huge sacrifices that families make to send their children here we continually work to keep fee rises as low as possible. You can follow news of the school on our social media platforms, so do please follow us, and on the website. However, if you would like a tour on a working day to get a really genuine feel for life here, then we'd be very happy to arrange one. Do just contact us to arrange a time, and we have carried out a number of socially distanced tours already this term. We're well aware that the entrance exam can be stressful for all children, possibly even more so for parents. We really do aim to help your child do his or her best and we try to make the experience as friendly as possible because we want children to perform as well as they possibly can. At any point in the admissions process, do please feel that you can get in touch to ask questions. For example, we offer a range of 11 plus bursaries and scholarships and we can provide further information on these if it helps. We've expanded our bus routes with nearly 100 pupils using these now traveling to and from school and we're keen to start more if there's sufficient demand. Choosing a school is a very important decision and clearly you know your children best of all. You'll want to find out whether Chigwell is the right fit for them and we want you to get to know us and the school well enough so that you can make that decision with confidence. Anyway, enough from me. I will now hand over to Zach and Kea, who are this year's head boy and head girl, and we'll talk about their time at Chigwell. Thank you. Hello, I'm Zachary and I'm the head of school for this academic year. 
I joined the Chigwell School when I was 11 and one of the key f factors for me was the school's brilliant music department. Over the years this has been confirmed to be a great choice as the staff have been so, so supportive and I've come so far in both my piano and oboe. Um, one of my favourite things about the school's music department is the annual Musician of the Year contest where I, everyone gets to perform a piece of their choice uh, up to eight minutes and this has been a great way for me to learn new pieces that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. A part of the music department that really I didn't have much interest in with joining was the, the choral part of the department. The school has always had a brilliant chapel choir and I was always had a slight aversion to this. However, I joined in my third year at the school and I've not regretted this decision. I've had some of the most amazing experiences in the chapel choir, such as singing in amazing locations like St. Paul's Cathedral and even the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. The music department has been really at the heart of my time at Chigwell and it's definitely one of the greatest parts of the school. For me, possibly the greatest. And some of the memories I've had here are irreplaceable and I'm very happy for choosing the school for that reason. Hi everyone, my name is Kea and I'm the head girl this year at Chigwell. From a young age I have loved hockey, a sport which was introduced to me here at Chigwell. We're lucky enough to have over 100 acres of grounds where we can do a range of sports from rounders to cricket to swimming to hockey to football. I joined the school in 2010 and over the last 10 years I have made some amazing memories and some amazing friends. From making new friends in the junior school to hanging out in the coffee shop in the sick form, I know that the memories I have made here I will cherish for the rest of my life and I will look back fondly on my time at Chigwell. Hi, I'm Will. I'm co-head of House for Tudors. I'm in year eight. I joined Chigwell uh, last year in year seven after completing the 11 plus and today I wanted to show you around the science block. In uh, year seven at Chigwell, all three sciences are, mis are mixed into one sort of weird general sciences lesson. However, though, in year eight, my year, we split up the sciences. So at the moment, you can see in one room a rat being dissected, or in that room, something being blown up, or on a field somewhere, someone firing a gun just to see how fast sound moves. I j did three entrance exams in uh, my year six, um, but I went to various open days and I thought, those aren't real smiles on teachers' faces, those aren't real ways to interact with students, it was all put on. But at Chigwell I felt it was real, I felt everything here is genuine. Everything from, I don't know, maybe a student being told off or a student being comforted. Here at Chigwell you can speak to anyone, whether it's a form tutor or a teacher or your head of year, all their doors are always open, no matter what, and that's why I chose Chigwell. Hello, I'm Bubba. I joined the school last year in the beginning of year seven. Um, this is one of the main reasons why I joined, because of the music school. Come on, I'll show you around. So this is where all of the main music lessons are, all the class music lessons. There's going to be a lot of singing. Uh, we can even use some of the keyboards. Down here we have a lot of practice rooms, where we have lots of different music lessons. Um, we have guitar, we have piano, we have clarinet, all lots of blowing instruments, which we can't use at the moment. So we have in some of the rooms, we have laptops, so we can do our lessons via Zoom, which is mainly full of blowing instruments like trumpet, saxophone. There's piano. I play the piano. Um, so I'll just play something a bit, something short. Okay. 